please give the president and CEO of this company, Mr. Russell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Thank you, Mr.
Uh, I had done well in real estate. I had done well in the mortgage industry. Um, and it afforded me a little bit of time to myself to go travel the world. Uh, I went back to my homeland, which is the Philippines. I went back and forth to China, you know, all around the world to kind of see how things were. And I ran across a product that blew my mind. You know, I'd love to sit up here and take all the credit and say I'm smarter than I actually am, but I'm not. This type of technology that we're going to show you today, it's been around now for a couple years. And I saw it for the first time, something similar to it, about two years ago during my travels. And when I saw this product, man, I was, I was really excited because just to give you a little background, I saw it for the first time in China. And at that time, I was getting a little homesick. You know, I'm a big Raiders fan. So I wasn't able to catch the NFL Raider games while I was in the Philippines. And, you know, I went to one of my buddy's places in Hong Kong, and he started fiddling with his box, and he was playing Raider games. I was like, man, this is pretty cool. Then he said, man, you think that's cool? Check this out. He started playing television shows and movies and kids programming. And I was like, man, how did you get access to all this stuff? Right? Because for a lot of people who don't know, in China, they don't have like your typical cable company. So they don't have like your direct TV or satellite dish or anything like that. But they love U.S. programming. They love Tom Cruise. They love Denzel Washington. They love it just as much as we do here, if not more. But the only way they're able to access out there uh, at the time was through the Internet. So they had to develop technology just like this in order to get things cracking. Where in here, if we don't find something on the internet, let's face it, everyone knows how to find stuff on the internet, right? right. Especially our little nephews and nieces, they can find it a lot faster than we do. <laughs> okay? But out here, we have cable TV, we have direct TV. So if we don't find it right away, we're just going to turn on the channel. Well, in, in China, it's a different scenario. In China, they had to find a way to do it because they love that U.S. programming. So it's the only way they could do it was develop uh, boxes like this. So uh, when I first saw the technology, it blew my mind. I said to myself, if I can find a way to get it out here, it's going to help a lot of people out. And we're going to make a little bit of money while we're at it. So that was about two years ago, guys. And needless to say, it was a little easier said than done. It was a little easier said than done. Um, bringing that type of technology out here was going to ruffle a, a couple feathers. Um, if you don't, if you know what I'm talking about, like there are certain industries that didn't want us to have here, have, have this technology here. So um, after two years of falling on our face, picking back up, and with the support of Money Street Incorporated and my good friend Sammy, um, we were finally, finally, finally able to bring it out here uh, for you guys to enjoy. So as we're about a month and a half ago, we finally got it out here. So we put it all together, guys, and without further ado, if you don't mind, I'd like to give you guys a demonstration of it. Is that cool? Let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, the box that we talk about is that shiny gold component that you see over there on the table for some of you guys who can see it. It's light, it's small, well, it weighs less than a kilogram, um, and every U-Box comes with three pieces of hardware, okay? The first piece of hardware that it comes with is a remote control. The second piece of hardware that it comes with is a power cord. And then last but not least, it comes with an HDMI cord. And that's it. There's no fancy installation. There's no cable guy saying, hey, you know, we're going to set an appointment and set up your cable between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. None of that. You can travel. You can use this anywhere in the world. You can use it as long as you have an internet connection. Okay? And the internet connection speed that you have has to be a minimum speed of 10 megabits per second. Okay? But as long as you have an internet connection, you're good to go. And you can connect to the internet one of two ways. You can either plug in directly with the ethernet cord, or you can connect through Wi-Fi. But it doesn't matter, as long as you have 10 megs, you can use it anywhere in the world. So as soon as you plug the box into your television, or for our case tonight, your projector, it automatically turns your TV into a smart TV. Okay? So I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this platform, it's the Android platform. For those of you who've had uh, Android smartphones before or tablets, it's pretty easy to use. Um, you can check your settings, your online videos, your apps. You have a customizable toolbar right here at the bottom that you can take advantage of. Every box comes with three USB inputs that you can use. So as you see right now, I got a wireless mouse. You can put a wireless keyboard, 
Uh, you can put, once again, um, one of those webcams on it as well. You can plug up to three USB inputs at once. So I'm controlling it as you see here with the mouse. Um, it has some of your popular applications that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. You have your Gmail that you can check out. You have Netflix, you have YouTube, you have Facebook. This is an application that comes pre-installed called Showbox, which gives you some of the latest movies and TV shows. Um, this is another application called Mantra, which I'll get into, but the first thing I want to click on is this little global icon that you see here. And what the global icon allows you to do is it allows you to browse the net just like you normally would. Oh, and look at this. Yeah, this website that we got, it's so, such a wonderful website. The U-Box website. Guys, you can come on the U-Box website. Uh, you can put your applications in at the U-Box website. And we just installed something new, guys. We did customer service. You can do have your little ticker here where if you call between the hours of 10 and 6, you'll get someone live as far as customer service is concerned. But if you're after the hours of 10 and 6, you can just submit your questions and we'll get back to you right away. It's just a new thing that we put there. Um, you can go on Google. You can go on ESPN. Go UCLA today, anybody? UCLA fans? Go UCLA. Yes. Last second. You know, check your, check your CNN. Um, you know, you can browse the web just like you would a regular laptop. Only this time, instead of using a little 17 inch screen or a computer screen, you got your big screen TV to do it. Pretty cool? Once again, that's a cool little feature, but it's not really that cutting edge, right? I mean, let's face it, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart right now, you can find, um, you can find smart TVs for $3.99 right now. And it's not really that cutting edge. And us over here at UA, we're all about cutting edge, something different. You know, it's bringing something different to the market. So that's what we did right here with this application that comes pre-installed called Matro. Now what Mobjo allows you to do uh, is it allows you to access live streaming television from all around the world and some of your favorite stations all over. So you click here on channels and it'll give you access to some of your favorite channels um, all across the world, okay? ABC, TNT, CBS, even HBO, correct? Even some of the stations all over the world like the BBC and whatnot you can check on here. You know, you can even set up a favorites menu and create your own channel list. We put together some of our favorite ones like CNN and CBS and HBO. Uh, it's fully customizable. And you can also access sports, music, even video games on Mobdro. And this is an application which, which comes pre-installed with our box. On top of that, you also have this little X application here. And that stands for the XBMC application. Okay, and just to give you guys a little background, XBMC stands for Xbox Media Center. Okay, it was a platform created by Microsoft around 1988, and it was originally intended for gamers to communicate with each other through code. Okay, it's evolved into what it is today, which is a pretty powerful media center that allows you to stream video, music, even video games. Okay, so anyone can access X XBMC. You can go on your laptop, you can go on a computer, but good luck, right? It's not the easiest interface to use. You kind of have to be a little bit techy, right? You gotta understand coding. You gotta know how to get through uh, pop-ups. Then you have this thing called viruses. Has anyone ever heard of these Trojan horse viruses? Yeah. 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 You got this little virus where you know you download something on your computer and it just ruins your entire computer, right? Ooh, viruses. So. What we've done with our platform and our software is we've taken a complicated process and we've made it very simple, simplified it. You know, I like to call it passing the mom test, yes. right? That means if my mom can use it, anybody else can. My mom can do it, man. She just learned how to text message about a year ago, so she can use it, anybody can. So first things first, this is the XBMC, and you click on the XBMC and it takes you over here. Um, you can go ahead and check weather, you can check your pictures, videos, which we'll get back to, uh, music. I wanted to go over the music section. I don't know, I know I don't spend as much time on the music section, but guys, you can access all of your favorite streaming music sites uh, on the web as well. So, you know, some of these that are familiar, you got your Pandora, 
got your Fivo, you got SoundCloud, Spot, Spot Mic, or Spot MC, which allows you to go to Spotify. You know, we got Mikey's Karaoke, which we'll get into a little bit later. Get into a little bit later. We have Mikey's Karaoke. Every box comes with the audio optical output. Okay, so it goes straight from the box right into your audio optical. So, you know, those popular sound bars that they have or those Bose sound systems, you can go right from the box right into the system and you're good to go. Okay, so that's just the music. Now we can go ahead and check out videos. This is what kind of separates us and makes us a little unique. The first one is AAA Stream. And AAA Stream is unique because it gives you over 2,000 channels live streaming uh, television with commercials from all over the world. So whether it's sports channels, whether it's you know some of your popular programming like ABC, CBS, CNN, um, it allows you to access streaming television from all around the world. Television with commercials, okay? The second application is called GoTV. We'll click on it here and take a look at Go GoTV. Now, if you guys don't mind me asking, does anybody have a Netflix account? Anybody have Netflix or Hulu or one of these streaming accounts? Okay, well they ran a little survey with, uh, with Netflix and they realized that with Netflix, it's actually, you wanna know what the most popular programming is on Netflix? It's not actually the movies, but it's actually television shows, guys. Television shows are the most popular because they write the television shows so well now that they put cliffhangers at the end of every single television show. They write them so well that when you watch one episode, you catch yourself watching the next episode, the next one, the next one. Next thing you know, you're doing something called binge watching, ladies and gentlemen. And you're watching 12 episodes in one Sunday. The one I'm on right now, guys, I can't lie, I'm on this one right here, House of Cards. Is anybody a House of Cards fan? Yeah. Kevin Spacey? I recommend it. It's off the hook. You guys recognize some of these television shows? We got Walking Dead. Are there any deadheads in the house tonight? Walking Dead. You got Game of Thrones, right? I think that's on HBO. House of Cards, that's exclusive only to Netflix before this. You got, you got Empire, guys? You guys heard of Empire? Empire is a brand new show. I mean, you couldn't even go to Barnes and Nobles and pick up a box set because it's so new um, that it's not even out on DVD. This is the first, the first season. You got Empire, you got Breaking Bad, you got Suits. That's another one I'm on. Um, Sons of Anarchy, anybody? Is anybody a Sons of Anarchy fan? Right? If you have Netflix and you try to search Sons of Anarchy, you want to know one of the most frustrating things? They only give you up to season six. There's seven seasons in, in Sons of Anarchy. That's one of the most frustrating things to ever, just knowing after you completed all six seasons, there's another season hanging out there. Well, with the U-Box, you'd be able to access it with no commercials, um, on demand, whenever you like. And it's not just these popular ones. You can also run a search. You can search by title. You can search by actor. It's every single television show ever in the history of TV with no commercials. I mean, we were watching Leave It to Beaver. Don't ask me why, but we were watching Leave It to Beaver. And I Love Lucy and Happy Days and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Any single television show. I, I have yet to find a television show in the history worth watching at least uh, that we haven't been able to find through this application right here. So just to recap, guys, AAA Stream, that gives you television with commercials. Okay, live streaming. Go TV gives you television without commercials. Genesis and Go Movies give you movies, guys. I'll go ahead and click on Go Movies. Is anybody here a movie fan? Anybody? Everybody loves movies, right? Let's click on some of the movies that we got here. You know, I'm thinking maybe some of the movies on Netflix, that would be pretty cool. Or maybe some of the movies that's on HBO, or some of the ones that might be on, what's that one, Redbox? But what about some of these movies, guys? Let's take a look at some of these movies, guys. Chappie. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. Has everyone seen that one yet? What about this movie here? You guys seen my man Will Smith on Focus? Right? What's the common theme with some of these movies, guys? A lot of these movies are in theaters. Some of the movies aren't even in theaters, guys. Okay, cool. So right around here, 
I, I got to do a little bit of explaining. This is the part where I gotta where I gotta sit back and explain because some of you guys who've never been here before and you're just taking a look, this is the part where you guys are kind of like, what's going on right now, man? What's going on? Is everything on the up and up? I see this guy, this fancy talking Filipino guy with his bow tie, and you're thinking bootleg movies. You're thinking Asian guys bootleg movies. You're putting two and two together, right? And that's okay. Let me give you guys a little explanation as to what's going on. What we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, with this technology is we are operating in an unregulated space. And the unregulated space that we're talking about is file streaming technology and file sharing technology. Our box, our technology, does not allow you to download, upload, duplicate, rip, burn any of the content that you see here. We don't host any of the content that you see here. We're simply file streaming and file sharing, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, file sharing, which makes us 100% compliant and 100% legal. Okay. The analogy I like to use is the fishing analogy, right? Let's say we're fishing in the ocean and we catch a big old fish, right? We catch that big old fish, we bring it back on board. Well, instead of taking that fish and putting it on the barbecue and eating it, we're taking that fish, maybe we're taking a couple pictures with the fish on Instagram, and then we're throwing the fish back in the ocean. Does that make sense? Since we're not hosting the content, we're not downloading the content, we're, we're simply streaming and file sharing. But that doesn't explain the movies though, right? It doesn't really explain the movies that we got. So how does it explain, well, that's a fancy explanation as to why we're good to go, but how do you get these movies? And it kind of goes back to the Hollywood story, ladies and gentlemen. Like, does everybody, can everybody agree that Hollywood is a very profitable industry? Yes. Right? They know how to make money. Yes. They very rarely take losses at Hollywood. Okay? And just to let you understand, I mean, it's a system they've created to where they always make profit. Let's say, for instance, uh, Focus. Focus is a movie right now. And it cost $50 million to make Focus. Right? Well, before focus is ever shown in theaters here in the United States of America, what's the first thing that the movie houses do all around the world? They take focus and they sell the licensing all around the world. They go to Australia and sell it for 10 million. They go to Japan and sell it for 10 million. They go to China and sell it for 10 million. They go all around the world and recoup their entire budget before they ever show it out here in the U.S. And then once their budget is recouped, everything's good to go. By the time it comes here to the United States of America, it's making money right off the very first time. Okay? So some countries, they get the movies month, two months ahead. You know, while I was spending some time overseas, while I was in the Philippines, I mean, first of all, there's nothing like living in the good old United States of America. This is the greatest country in the world to live in. Right? And I was getting homesick. I missed the USA. I missed the food. I missed the people. I missed the convenience of living in the first world. Right? But one of the only perks that I got living overseas was I got to see all these movies before my friends did in the US. Right? So what would I do? I would call up my best friend, Yogi. I'd call him up. i say, Yogi, did you hear about the new movie that came out? You know, uh, whatever, Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever it was, the new movie at the time. He said, yeah, man, that movie's coming out about a month from now. It's coming out. I said, I watched it already, yo. And guess what? This is how it ends. <laughs> I was way hating on him. I was hating on him. Because all I did to see is Instagram pictures about him at the club here in L.A. And, you know, taking these fancy trips to Vegas. And I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and ruin this night. Tell them how these movies ended. Um, but in all seriousness, guys, you know, you have countries like China, for instance. You guys know that in China, the same day that a movie comes out in movie theaters, it comes out on DVD the same day. Same day. Right? It's not like here in the States when a movie comes out in theaters and then it dies down. And then it comes out on DVD. And then it dies down, right? Then it comes out on cable TV, then it dies down, then it goes to network TV. So all around the way, people are making money. Advertisers and networks and all that. And the People's Republic of China, they don't have all that. Same day it comes out in movie theaters, it's out on DVD. So what's to stop somebody who has a copy of the DVD, for instance, months before, that it, months before it shows out here in the States, what's to stop that person from 
taking that DVD, putting it onto a computer, uploading it into the cloud, and sharing it, file sharing it, with the World Wide Web, not just the American Wide Web. Does that make sense? So, for years and years, Hollywood's been the beneficiary of a system that they set up that's created. Nothing but profit. Nothing but profit. So now the tables are kind of turned a little bit with the information highway being what it is. If you're living in China, you might as well be living in uh, Laguna Niguel, as far as information is concerned. That's how quick it is. Welcome to the world of streaming technology in 2015. Um, so the beneficiaries now are you box owners? Because we've created the technology that we brought to the table now. Um, and our position is only strengthened because as of last, uh, about three weeks ago now, they just passed a new law that FCC did called net neutrality. Has anyone been following the news and heard about net neutrality? Yeah. So what net neutrality basically did is it took the power out of the cable company and telecommunications hands, uh, te telecommunications companies' hands and put it back into the power of the people. Because um, what was happening was you had a company, has everyone ever heard of a, a company called Cox Cable? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, everybody has their own cable horror stories, but Cox Cable was doing something to Netflix subscribers. What they were doing with that, with that, um, with Netflix was they were intentionally squeezing the bandwidth for network uh, Netflix customers. So that way, people from Netflix, uh, you know, people who were subscribing to Netflix were calling in like, "Hey, I got a hundred speed internet, but for some reason, I keep getting buffering on my Netflix." And they realized that they were doing it intentionally, right? They were arguing that, hey, Netflix is getting so much traffic, Amazon's getting so much traffic, we gotta slow them down. We gotta find a way to tax them, as if the cable companies weren't making enough money, right? So what happened was the FCC stepped in and they said, you know what, it's unconstitutional. If you start taxing Netflix just because they're a big company, then you're gonna have to tax everybody else. You're gonna have to tax a small business owner. Too hard to regulate. So what they did is they stepped up with net neutrality, they made an unregulated space even more unregulated, which only strengthened our position in the marketplace. So, just so that you guys understand, timing is everything. Timing is everything. You remember what happened to Blockbuster when Netflix came along? Well, I'm not saying that we're Netflix or anything, but let me show you guys a couple more applications. So, just to let you guys know right off the bat, just to clear it up, AAA streams, that gives you television, with commercials. Go TV gives you television without commercials. Genesis and Go Movies, they give you movies. Okay, not just like the newest movies, but all, the, all your old favorite movies. I mean, we were playing a game called Stump the Box. We couldn't stump the box. And it wasn't just like, you know, popular movies. A lady came in the other day and was like, I want you to look up The Watermelon Man. I was like, The Watermelon Man, all right. We looked it up, found The Watermelon Man. You can look by actors as well they'll bring up their whole film filmography. Moving on to the next one, this one is called Cartoon HD, ladies and gentlemen. And Cartoon HD is children's programming. A lady the other day was so creative, she called it the babysitter box. Because it pretty much has every single cartoon in the history of all cartoons. Every episode, even the old school ones, right? You click on the Disney collection, guys, and someone was cool enough to give us their entire Disney collection. And not only that, they were nice enough to put it in chronological order from the very first Disney movie in 1937 with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All the way up. Every single Disney movie, guys. Right? Every single one. That's about a $5,000 DVD collection right there with no inventory. Okay? We click all the way to the top of this newest one we were watching earlier, Tinkerbell, Secret of the Wings. Started from the beginning, just so you guys kind of see what we're dealing with here today. And it'll give you the Disney movie, ladies and gentlemen, Disney. The babysitter box, guys. The babysitter box. You'll be 
able to pause for a bathroom break <laughs> and come right back to it. Check out the quality, guys. That's Tinkerbell just seamlessly moves. <laughs> Once again, guys, the babysitter box. So once again, it's 2015. Welcome to the world of streaming technology. About a year ago, you couldn't stream a 1080p movie or an HD movie or a 3D movie the way you are, seamlessly the way we are right now. Um, but thanks to the technology that we put together, you'll be able to watch it with this type of quality. Cool? I'm not going to waste you guys at all. Love you guys. Once again, the babysitter box. I was clicking on some of these other ones, guys. Take a look at here, Top Cartoon. And Top Cartoon is pretty amazing because um, these are some of the, the titles that you guys get here with the Top Cartoons. Okay, Box Trolls, Rio 2, The Lego Movie. Has anyone ever been to the clearance aisles over at Target or Walmart? You know, the DVD clearance aisle. You, you want to know what uh, what's never on the clearance aisles, guys? It's these movies. They're always $19.99, $29.99 because they always sell. They don't ever have to go on sale. Right here, you see with some of these titles, Frozen, some of the Pixar movies, um, some of the animated motion pictures, guys. Despicable Me. I mean, that's about a $3,000 DVD collection with no inventory that you have at your fingertips, whatever you need. So as far as children's programming, guys, um, the U-Box is unparalleled. It's unparalleled. I want to show you guys a couple more applications before we turn it over to our good friend Christian. Um, but you have the Phoenix app, which gives you international programming from over 80 countries worldwide. So live streaming programming for over 80 countries worldwide. That's Mexico, Iran, the Philippines. You'll be able to click on Phoenix um, and find those channels on there. Um, ITVN is the Trinity Broadcast Network, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to bring this one up. It's pretty cool because it gives you live channels as well as programs and movies um, for all your favorite Christian programming, guys. I had the pleasure of speaking um, you know, to the congregation in, uh, in Los Angeles, uh, Reverend R.A. Williams, and I also had a, had a chance to speak to the, the congregation of, uh, of Reverend um, Joseph Hardwick, and you know, I showed them this, and they were blown away. It gives you guys all the Trinity Broadcast Network, all the Christian programming on demand, as well as live programming, guys. Um, wow. Hundreds and hundreds of hours of Christian programming, guys. We got that for you. Okay, so there's something really on here for everybody. Just to recap, you know, you have television, you have movies, you have children's programming, international programming, Christian programming, guys, and that's just our front seven. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. So when you click on the add-ons, guys, it gives you everything that you see here. Tons and tons of different applications. You saw seven there. When you click on there, there's 57 other items that we've loaded on our mainframe. And I'll just cover a couple of them with you guys real quick. Um, Hello Live is another international programming application that you can choose um, to watch. You have Genesis and Glow Movies, Go Movies, Go TV. Once again, all of these are movie search engines. There's not just one you can choose from. If you don't find it on one, which is pretty hard to believe, you will be able to find it on another, okay? iStream is phenomenal, guys. We were able to watch a live streaming lecture on quantum physics at Harvard University on iStream, okay? Click on down a little further. Um, you know I had to put that in there for the Filipinos in the house. All right? We have Pinoy Echo, which gives you Filipino programming, ABS-CBN, TV5. Oh yeah, I like that. We're gonna get into that. Oh yeah, we're gonna get into that. Um, let me show you guys another one. This is another one that we just discovered, guys. It's called TED Talks. Anyone heard of the TED Talks? Yeah. Okay, so we have all the on-demand TED Talks, over a thousand different speeches um, from people from all over the world. Uh, TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, uh, and Design. 
and it has some of the best speakers in the world, some of the best motivational speakers in the world. I've learned so much as far as self-help and self-education just from watching TED Talks. We got it all available. Um, Vivo, guys, um, that's for all the music videos, all the popular music videos, all the old school music videos. You'll be able to click on here and watch all the music videos that you like. Um, the Video Devil, guys, that is adult programming. I'm not going to get too far into adult programming because, you know, it's not for everybody. Uh, but for those of you who do want to be adults, you can click on it here and be the adult that you want to be. <laughs> but let's just say, if you don't, and that's not your thing, and I completely respect that and understand, every single application that you see here, you can go ahead and put your own child locks on it. So you click on to add on information, you can either uninstall it completely from your box if that's something that you don't want to have. You can disable it from the mainframe or you can put parental locks on it. The choice is yours. Okay. Couple of the different applications that we also got on here that I want to share with you guys. World News Live, ladies and gentlemen. And what World News Live allows you to do is it allows you to watch live streaming news from all over the globe. So whether it's the Al Jazeera Network, whether it's the BBC, CNN, C-SPAN, or good old ABC News, um, you can check out live streaming feeds of news channels from all around the world so you can stay up to date. So for instance, this is ABC. This is what's going on right now on ABC. Pretty cool? Awesome, guys. So once again, guys, there's something on the box for everybody. There's something on the box for everybody, guys. Let's see what else we got on here. Sports. sports. That's a good question, guys. Are there any sports fans in the house tonight? Hey, we got sporting as well, guys. We have a, a bunch of different applications, Sportsaholic, Sports Access, Sports Devil. Also on AAA Stream, which is the one that we alluded to earlier, which gives you live streaming sports. Um, it'll pretty much give you live streaming sports access for any live streaming sporting event. So basketball, football, Baseball. Boxing. Back you up. Boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into that a little bit, guys. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, there were to be a big boxing match, for instance, in May. on May 2nd, between the greatest pound for pound boxer in the history of boxing. And some clown named Mayweather. Hey. They're both bums. <laughs> well, let's put it this way, guys. We do not host any of the content. Therefore, as U-Box, we do not guarantee any of the content. However, if there were to be a live streaming event, our technology does what's called file scraping. Okay, it's some of the most powerful technology out there on the market. And what file scraping does is it scrapes the internet for all available feeds. It does what's called a min-match. So it'll go out there, it'll search for the best available feed. So as long as there's a streaming feed, be it pay-per-view or not, we can't distinguish whether it's a pay-per-view or not. You know, our software is not, it's not discriminatory, you know, our, our software is, it goes for whatever. So let's say for instance, there's a stream out there, hypothetically speaking, that would be able to catch that stream, bring it into the box, and onto your TV screen, okay? So you gotta read between the lines, though. So, every user experience is different. However, according to my user experience, I've been able to watch some of the best pay-per-views available on YouTube. So, but everyone's user experience is different, guys, so figure it out for yourselves. Um, that's what Sports Devil and Sports Access, guys. Um, it just has tons and tons of content, guys. I'm not going to go into it too much further, guys. Um, as you see here, there's 57 items. You click on the Get More section, guys, there's 1,132 different applications that we can get with, guys. There's just so much content. The great thing about the box is that it's a living, breathing organism. So each and every day, we're adding brand new content. We're taking content out. Okay, our, pro our programmers are working around the clock to make sure that you guys have the best user experience. Okay? Now what I'm telling people to go, go ahead and do when they join us, I'm, I, I'm so confident in the product, I don't even have to oversell it. The product has over $5 million worth of content. But it's such new technology 
that what I'm encouraging people to do is don't even cut your cable right away when you pick up this box. It takes a little time to learn. Just like remember when we all got our first smartphones? It took us a little while to navigate and get through it. But now that we have them, could you ever think of not using a smartphone to send out text messages? Right? Same thing with the box. It has tons and tons of content. So what I'm telling people is, don't cut your cable right away. Definitely cut like your Netflix or your premium channels and all the extras that you put on. Definitely get rid of that because as you saw here tonight, it has all that. But it takes a little while to get used to. Get used to the technology first. Then after a month, when you realize, okay, I'm watching the U-Box a lot more than I'm watching regular cable, then you have to make the decision that's best for you and your family. Then you have to sit down and really look at your budget and see, is $150, $200 a month that I'm paying, I mean, how much cable TV do we really, really watch on the daily, right? Is it worth it? And, and at the end of that, you gotta really assess what's best for you. When we put together this product, guys, I mean, we, I knew it was going to help a lot of people. I knew it was going to open a lot of doors, but I didn't expect for it to take off the way it has. I be, I'm humbled by it. And I see all the faces here today, all the new faces, all the guys that have been here with us since we started. Um, you know, the, the commission checks that we're writing out. It, it's just phenomenal. The growth is phenomenal, guys. Um, we're entering the new stage in our business to where we're going to take it to the next level. We're at over a thousand distributors now nationwide. Over a thousand distributors in a small period of time. We're brand spanking new, guys. But this type of technology, it can't be stopped. It can't be held in. The word is getting out there. Okay, it's no accident that we have, we're already in the top 10% as far as website traffic for our little website that we just put together over three weeks ago. It's here, guys. The revolution is here, guys. You can see for yourself with the content. You can ask your local distributor. Once again, nothing can stop us.